it's easy to make your life look glam for 15 seconds on TikTok. Hey, what is this? Some kind of quiz or something? <laughs> but have you ever wondered what goes on behind the scenes? Sebastian, ew! Was that your <laughs> There can be a big difference between what you see on the app and what's real. I can't do it. I can't fake it. Just drop your leg. Ariana Grande look-alike. Paige Newman claims that for years, her friends told her that she looked like her pop idol, Ariana Grande. And with some strategic makeup and hairstyling, she really pulls the look off. She loves to post videos of herself acting out scenes from Victorious and Sam and Cat, and her fans love watching them. Eventually, even Ariana herself couldn't help but notice her doppelganger. She tweeted that it was so weird seeing someone who looks just like her in real life, combined with dialogue from Sam and Cat. I mean, are you sure that you're not Ariana Grande. Yeah. <laughs> You're positive. <laughs> yes. There's no doubt that Paige has totally mastered the Ariana aesthetic at this point. She has the winged eyeliner, the perfect point, and of course her signature ponytail. But have you ever seen Paige without makeup on? Or at least when she hasn't gone full Ariana? There's definitely some resemblance, but it's nowhere near as noticeable as it appears on TikTok. Paige doesn't just roll out of bed looking like Ariana. She clearly puts in a lot of effort to pull off this look. Sebastian Bales Sebastian Bales loves making TikTok videos with Lauren Godwin but he spends a ton of time getting his face camera ready. He's a full-time TikTok star, and the funds he earns pays for his Hollywood apartment. Lauren says they're the two most cringiest people on the app, and they both totally embrace the label. Sebastian, no, ew! It's just a boy pop. Chill. Oh. <laughs> but have you ever seen Sebastian when he isn't showing off his unique TikTok style? He looks like a totally different person. According to Sebastian, just the thought of making a video without makeup on gives him an anxiety attack. He's always loved self-tanning, but decided to go all out for the camera and even splurge on some lip fillers. Each day he spends two hours doing his makeup, carefully contouring his face and drawing on those thick eyebrows. And that's on top of the four to eight hours a day he spends making videos. Whoever said being a TikTok star is easy. Beast Eater. This is Stephanie Margarucci, but you probably know her as Beast Eater on TikTok. Let's just say she's not someone who shies away from bold and bright colors. She's mastered the art of Instagram makeup and embodies a Kylie Jenner kind of aesthetic, at least when she's on TikTok. This star maintains a certain celeb caliber look on TikTok and Instagram, and has even been seen resembling Billie Eilish. But if you check her out on YouTube, you can see her looking much more natural and just as gorgeous. Without the crazy contouring, overzealous eye makeup, up an assortment of wigs, Beast Eater looks totally unrecognizable. Charlie D'Amelio Have you ever wondered why TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio is so popular? It turns out she doesn't know why either. She sees herself as a regular teenager who just loves to dance. So it was like one big dance dream all coming true at once. But she has over 21.8 million followers on TikTok, so clearly she must be doing something right. Being a star might look like fun, and Charlie is all smiles in her videos, but behind the scenes, it's a totally different different story. This star admits that while she loves her fans, the amount of negativity she's subjected to is totally overwhelming. Not only does she have to deal with online trolls, but real life bullies are a problem too. Charlie says people at school will take videos of her going about her day and share them in private Snapchat stories and group chats. Even though her real life is different from what you see on TikTok, Charlie isn't going to let the haters stop her from making videos. Tattoo Hack There are tons of TikTok users out there who are too young to get tattoos, but that hasn't stopped them from from trying. For a while, tons of users were showing off their new tats. But these aren't the permanent kind. They might look real, but they were applied with simple household items instead of being done in a tattoo parlor. And I've done this before, and it actually stayed on for a really, really long time. The process of applying one of these is surprisingly simple. Just print out a design of your choice and coat it with either perfume, body spray, or hairspray. Soak the stencil in water, apply another layer of your chosen spray, and then apply to the skin. Unlike a lot of TikTok tricks, this one actually works. But even though the results are realistic, they aren't the same as a genuine tattoo. Starbucks hack. Tons of people love grabbing a cup of Starbucks coffee, but you have to admit their prices are pretty high. That's why so many TikTok users claim that they know the perfect trick to getting your order on the cheap. One method involves ordering a venti ice drink without ice and asking for three tall cups with ice. Then just pour the drink into the cups to get three tall drinks for the price of one venti. You can do the same method with a tall drink with no ice and a venti cup with ice. Oh, no.
While this technically works out for the customers, it turns out that Starbucks baristas aren't the biggest fans. Many don't appreciate the store losing money and the extra work required to pull this off. Even worse is the alleged TikTok drink, a supposedly secret menu item. Many people believe it's a venti strawberry acai refresher, three scoops of strawberries, three scoops of blackberries, and a matching size scoop of ice. The problem is that not all baristas know about it, and most people trying to order it aren't sure of the ingredients, which causes a ton of confusion. Plus, many of the people who've tasted it say it doesn't even taste great when made correctly. Pimple removal. Nobody likes having to deal with pimples, so it's not surprising there are so many beauty hacks out there promising to get rid of them. But could these methods actually be making your acne worse? The Beauty Hacks TikTok page recommends mixing up a combination of aloe vera and toothpaste and applying it to the affected area. Sounds easy enough, but be careful before you go this route. Toothpaste does contain some ingredients that will dry out zits like menthol, baking soda, and hydrogen peroxide, but according to dermatologist Dr. Rebecca Baxt, toothpaste can cause serious irritation, leading to redness and peeling. Pimples can come and go on their own, but adding toothpaste to the process definitely doesn't improve things. Instead of grabbing a tube, just pick up some over-the-counter benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid product designed specifically for pimples. Tennis ball trip. Some TikTok users claim that unlocking a car door could be done using a simple green tennis ball. According to Snopes, this method has floated around on social media for some time, but only recently made it to TikTok. First, you'll need to make a hole in the tennis ball, and then hold the punctured area over the keyhole in your car door. Then just smash the tennis ball as hard as you can, and the door will pop right open. Or will it? Save yourself a lot of time and aggravation by watching the Mythbusters try this out. Long story short, it doesn't work. The team even sealed off the car lock and applied 100 psi of air pressure with no success. If unlocking a car was really that easy, there'd probably be a lot more car thefts going on. Don't try at home. There are plenty of viral trends out there that don't work well in real life, but the outlet challenge can be downright dangerous. This challenge got big on TikTok, but there's a reason fire departments are speaking out against it doesn't take much to be electrocuted, fatally electrocuted, just by an outlet in a, in, a, in a wall saw. This trend involves partially inserting a plug into an electrical outlet and then sliding a penny down the wall onto the exposed prongs. Four teenagers at two separate Massachusetts high schools have been charged for doing this and damaging the electrical systems at their schools. Fire departments all over the country are issuing warnings that this could cause serious property damage as well as physical harm. Louisville Fire Department Major Bobby Cooper says participants could be held criminally liable for their actions. Weighted Blanket Challenge Here's another TikTok challenge that you don't want to try at home. Weighted blankets can be incorporated into sensory integration therapy by occupational therapists, but many people have them at home. They can help alleviate sensory processing disorders, and some people believe they help with anxiety and depression. But the trick is you have to use them correctly, or they can actually cause injuries. It's not difficult to use a blanket, but on TikTok, users are throwing them up in the air and catching them on their heads. Yeah, it's as bad of an idea as it sounds, because even though they may not feel that heavy in your hands, it's a different story when it hits your head. We're gonna try, see what? <laughs> it's an especially bad idea to do this near stairs. Piercing roulette. Piercings can be safe when done properly, but they can be risky, and deciding to get one is a big decision, usually. The piercing challenge on TikTok is a way for indecisive people to choose which piercing to get by letting an app do all the work. The idea is to use the app and then get the piercing. But of course, it often goes horribly wrong, especially when people try to pierce themselves. Some people have had allergic reactions even after going to a professional, and who knows how many people came to regret their piercings. Lip glue. Everyone wants luscious lips, but what if you can't afford a new Kylie Jenner lip kit? Well, the good news is that TikTok has just the trend for you. The bad news is that it's an absolutely terrible idea. It involves people gluing their upper lips in order to make them look bigger. According to dermatologist Sherry Marchbein, the ingredients in glue aren't designed for your face, which means they can irritate your skin. And you might need to use acetone to remove the glue and unstick your lip, which will only do further damage. Hair toothpaste. Leaching your hair with toothpaste may seem too good to be true, and that's because it is. Even though people on TikTok talk up this trick, it doesn't really work. Toothpaste can help remove dye from your skin due to its gritty texture, but it's not going to make your hair platinum blonde. Soy sauce. 
TikTok user crying in the car isn't afraid to ask the hard questions, like, can men taste food with something other than their tongues? In her defense, the question was based on a Daily Mail article which claimed testicles have taste buds. Naturally, in the interest of science, many men stepped up to the challenge using soy sauce as their subject of choice. Even though some claim to be able to taste it this way, nutrition scientist Emma Beckett says it's impossible. This part of the body does have taste receptors, but they don't work like taste buds in your mouth. Scientists aren't sure what they're for, but dunking them in condiments is definitely not necessary. Eye color change. TikTok user Malia Brew shared a video of herself supposedly changing her eye color from brown to blue using the S5 filter, but it turns out all that does is add a blue tinge to videos, and apparently it can blind users with a flash. Then there's Greg Lammers, who put caustic chemicals like bleach in a bag and pretended to use them to change his eye colors. Later, he revealed that he faked the whole thing. If you want a different hue, try getting colored contacts and stay away from the chemicals. What do you think about the way TikTok talk can distort reality. Do you think these helpful hacks can be harmful? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section and then click on the subscribe button for more videos from us here at The Taco. Bye for now.